Now look, the reason why God has not come back because y'all ain't ready. He's only coming back for people who he, who's ready for him. And the only way that you can get ready for him is to shine. He ain't gonna come back for you because you're broke. Gotta have money. Come on somebody. Yeah, yeah, he, he are not gonna have you like the, is it the Jehovah Witness that come and knock on your door all the time? He ain't going to have you walking around knocking on no door. What he's going to have you to do is ride around. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. Because what God is going to do in the believers, the full gospel believers' lives are going to be unbelievable. It's now, this is going to mess y'all up. This is the Holy Ghost talking. Listen to me. It's not going to be done with a bunch of words. Amen. <laughs> Everybody know the gospel. Yes. Louis Farrakhan know the gospel better than you do. Amen. I'm like, man, where'd you get that one from, Louis? <laughs> yeah, I watch him all the time, and he be telling me, "Assalamu alaikum, salam salam." Uh huh. Most power and, and to Allah and all of that. Yeah, and got it together. And then they talk about Jesus in his messages. Yeah, let him keep on talking. The, the Holy Ghost going to knock it down on the floor and he's going to be speaking in tongues. Because you can't mention Jesus three times in a row and, and not get, oh! I dare somebody in there say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And see what's going to happen to you. <laughs> he know how to just use it once. Jesus the prophet. But I dare him. I just want to come in this service and say, Louis, I dare you to say, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 say it three times, Lewis. The next thing you're going to say, hey, babo, she can't speaking in tongues. Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, it, it, it mess around and, and Lewis with his boat, with his suit on, everything, and be done fell out on the, uh, under the pew and shaking like we be shaking. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, they, that's why they don't want to use his name too much. Because the Bible teaches us that there is power in the name of Jesus. Say, so you got to be careful how you speak, speak his name because he'll knock you under the pew, knock you out in the White House. You up there got a speech. We just honor Reverend Townsend for being a good citizen. And I'm coming up here and with my presidential suit on and say, well, I, I greet all of the people. Give honor to the president of the United States. And then all of a sudden I think I'm saved and say, you know what? And I give honor to God who's ahead of my life. And the next thing you know, that's it. And I thank the Lord Jesus for saving me and sanctifying me and filling me with the Holy Ghost. I just dare two people to say, thank the Lord. So you go on now. You mentioned Jesus' name, you gone. You done messed up the banquet. They be pulling on your coat. We did not call you here for that. But I can't help it. You ain't going to be able to help it because if you talk too much about Jesus, then now the Holy Ghost is going to take over and you're going to finish this thing. Somebody might get saved. Am I talking? So listen at this. The gospel is not going to be preached by knocking on the doors. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. The gospel, this is Holy Ghost revelation. You got to be really saved to get this one. In the last days that we're talking about, yeah. the gospel is going to be preached without opening your mouth. Amen. Amen. It's going to be preached by what they see. Yes. The Jesus yes. in you. Hmm. You can talk a good game and fool a whole lot of folk. But now people want to see the God that you serve. You ain't got no God when you, you're on your knuckles. You talk all that you want to. The brother be coming to my Thank the Lord and me and the Lord. And then 10 minutes later, hey, can I buy $10? 
Your God can't give you 10? That's what I'm trying to tell you what's going to happen to the believers in the last days. It's not going to be preached with mouths. It's going to be preached with silence. God's going to show his glory in your life. When the disciples was anointed, when they walked by the people, didn't even open their mouth. It was their shadows that saved them. See, that's how God's going to get stuff out now. See, you ain't going to have to preach no more. Preaching is going to be the thing of the past in the last days. You know what's gonna know what's gonna be, child? It's gonna be how you live. They're gonna be looking at the anointing over you. They're gonna say, let me see, is he happy or is he sad? She's so gonna be looking at you like that. They're gonna say, well, Brother Red, is he saved? Is he cussing? He ain't saved. Am I right? Then they say, uh, mess y'all up. Did he lie? He ain't saying. They gonna look at his pocket. He got his cigarettes in his pocket. <laughs> y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm just trying to tell y'all. That's what. That's how it's gonna be preached. See, see, because what's gonna happen? It's gonna be too much territory for a person to speak to them. Now look at this. It's good. Because the devil has tricked us with the word and we improperly use the word. And we're just filling up arenas. Tens of thousands of people coming into a building. And we're looking good as a church. But we don't have any power. Hello somebody. We building multi-million dollar churches in the hood. And the hood is still the hood. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Guys sleeping when you shut your doors under the back of your church with a blanket. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And you got, we got all these big old vans out there, signs lit up at light. The cross. And a crackhead walking by and get shot in the head two blocks from your church. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Mm-hmm. And, and now God is getting tired of us looking like the church. And, and we're looking like the church because we're talking too much about the eloquence and all the intelligence and the degrees and stuff we got as a preacher. And ain't got no preaching power. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And when Jesus got up and they asked him to say something in the church, he just opened up the book and said, I am anointed to do this. Closed the book and gave it back to the deacons. So man, go, I'm getting out on the street. Preach to somebody on the curb. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all think y'all anointed because you got this big stained glass building, all this gold and all this money coming in, but you got empty souls. There is no way that you ought to have a crack house next to your, the whole community need to be shut down when the saints come in. Come on, somebody. I'm trying to, this, this is too deep for too many, a lot of folk, because the devil done tricked us so long with, with, with that's the church because that's the big building and they got all them people. And you know, when the folk go into church, all they do is go into church and look cute and, and entertain each other. And when they go home, they just drive right on by the hood. Liquor store should not be nowhere near the church. Close them down with prayer. That's if you believe that the power of God works. And that's what God is doing in the last days. He raising up a strong church that you ain't going to have to say nothing. Just be anointed and walk by the liquor store and it'll shut down. Won't sell no more liquor because the saints are there. The people of God are there. We don't have to impress nobody. And tell them I'm the church. You ain't going to have to tell nobody. They going to know who you are. They going to see the glory of God over your life. They say something about that woman. Ah, every time I see her, she throwing a hey, thanking God. Every time I see her, she got a Bible in her hand. Every time I see her, she glorifying God. She don't say too much, but when she come by, I just feel strange. She makes me shiver. Yeah. 
Y'all ain't saying that. He makes me shiver when he comes by. That reverend, man, he scares me. It's because it is the anointing that is destroying the yokes. Hello, somebody. It's the power of God that's breaking down every stubborn hole, every demonic spirit. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's God's people who's gonna preach this thing on the at the end time on the outside. Amen. And the Bible says that in Acts, the, the scripture says, for 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 God uh, uh, in the last days, he will pour his spirit out on all flesh. <laughs> 